Welcome back to Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis, and today we are so excited to have an in-studio guest who can currently be seen on the ABC series, you might have heard of it, Desperate Housewives. Please, everybody, help me welcome Joshua Logan Moore. But we can call you Josh, right? Right. All right, Definitely. well, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming in. So, like I said, you're currently on Desperate Housewives, where you play Parker Scavo, just one of the brothers, one of Lynette's kids, right? One more, yeah. And Felicity Huffman plays your mother. So, what was it like joining a show like Desperate Housewives when it was already so successful? You know, it, it's, it's really crazy, you know, to walk on such a solid show mm -hmm. like that. And, um, you know, it was kind of intimidating at first. I it was bet. kind of like walking on, like, ah, you know, like all these crazy, awesome actors and stuff. And, um, yeah, it was thrilling. It was like, you know, when I got the call that I got it, I was like, what? So what's day one like? Does Felicity have come up to you and say, hello, I'm your mother? Basically, Break I was walking, ice. yeah, exactly. I was walking into the makeup trailer and I was like, I think it was more like, hey, you're my mother. Like, I was telling her that she was my mother, you know? I was like so excited to meet her. And, um, and then, you know, on set, just, she was really like, motherly in her directing. She kind of mm -hmm. just led me along. It's like, here's what you do. So it was, it was really cool. Well, you're learning from the best. Oh my goodness. I know. And like I said, you play Parker, who is hilarious. He's really savvy and intelligent. Like, I always feel something else is going on there. Yeah, he's he's kind of the witty brother. I think uh, um, Preston and Porter are kind of more out there and just like, ah, you know, crazy yeah. and, you know, in your face and stuff. But Parker kind of stays to himself and, you know, gets the low blows in when he can. Exactly, he does. Do you think you have anything in common with him? I, you know, I would like to say that I'm as smart as he is. You know, it's kind Definitely. of self compliment, but, um, but yeah, I think that he, I, I try to, I try to keep to myself a little bit. And I'm not as crazy as as my brothers are on the show. So mm -hmm. yeah, I think we have that in common. For Happy sure. medium, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 So what's it like behind the scenes on the show? Well, I would say the number one thing happening behind the scenes is the food. Mm -hmm. It is, Perhaps it's too. amazing. That's where we all hang out, and um, it, you know, it's such a great show because we're all really one big family and mm -hmm. we all kind of hang out together. It's not like, you know, who's hanging out with who, but um, you know, everyone is so funny and I just love to talk. There's a lot of young people on the show, so I imagine you guys can all kind of hang out with each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really cool. They're um, they're a little older than me, and but they kind of just accept me and I kind of get to just hang out with them. And, you know, we go, you know, do stuff after set and stuff, so it's really cool. Yeah, so what's a normal day on set like when you arrive? Um, let's say we get in, we go in, uh, we see if our wardrobe is there, which for Parker is obviously super stylish. Awesome oh yeah, yeah. You, you wear like button-up shirts and khaki, khaki pants. pants to play like basketball. a golfer. Like a play golfer. Yeah, I wear like Argyle sweaters to like, you know, <laughs> go mow the lawn. That's how cool I am. But um, no, yeah, so we get in, we get in our cool wardrobe, we go to hair and makeup, and then we eat. And then for me, I go to school, and then I, you know, I, I work and, you know, go do my all, all my good Parker stuff. Now you mentioned school. We were talking before the camera started rolling. You go to normal public high school in real life. Totally, and That's I love it. Out of the ordinary for actors. You know, and it's like I, you know, I had the option of homeschool, but I really just like that takes all the fun out of it. Like mm -hmm. I don't want to be by myself doing school. That's just like, eh. so you know, public school is really awesome for me. It's you know, it's cool because I, I'm not on set that much where I you know would get kicked out of school for missing you know a lot. So it's cool. Impressive, impressive, I like that. Now back to Desperate Housewives, your family on the show, I know you can't give away too many details, but we're still gonna try. Okay. Your family on the show is growing. Lynette is secretly, at this point, pregnant with twins. Yes. Um, how is Parker going to react to this growth? Because he seems very smart. Uh, we're all very disappointed in our mother's recklessness. And oh yeah. She has not handled the situation very well, but mm -hmm. um, you know, we're the Scavo family, always stick together and you know, support each other in our own way, so we're, we're going we're gonna to be good. We're gonna oh, be good. I we're can't good. wait to see how many kids does that make. A lot. A way too many. Just this, like, packing the house full. It's crazy. Oh, my goodness. Now, back to your real life. Your, your real life my in real, life real right life. now. Yeah. The Josh life. Before you moved to L.A. from Texas, you actually won an award, Austin's Funniest Kid Award. Yes. That, wow. That, you really, uh, you did, you know, you I did, did your my homework. Research. Yeah, okay. Um, I used to do stand-up comedy. You know, that's just, you know, a little awesome. back there. And uh, yes, in Texas, I won the Austin's Funniest Kid Award, which was really cool. And um, I actually ended up coming out and doing some of the improv out here. And um, <clears throat> Which is actually the starting location of a lot of huge comics right now. It, it was, you know, like, like yeah, my I mean, It's like, what? What's going on? Like, you see all their pictures up in the back, and it's like, wow, like, they've been here. But, um... 
Yeah, you know, it, it was it was cool, but I gotta say, comedy is the most nerve-wracking thing I've ever done, and it's like Dane Cook said, I would rather throw up every day than have to do it ever again, and it is like, I, I couldn't go back, it's so crazy. This coming from Austin's Funniest, right here. Interesting, so you're drawn to more dramatic roles then? Um, yeah, and, and there's just not, not as much pressure with, you know, filming things, you know, comedy is like do or die, like, ah, right there, you know, It is pretty scary. scary, it is pretty scary. So what do you do just to be a normal guy? I hear you're into music, I you like to guitar. play the guitar. Yes, that is my, you know, other, like, outlet, you know, whatever, just go in my room and jam, and, um, that, and I love to watch movies and, you know, hang out with friends mostly, just like, you know, wherever we go. Exactly. Any hope to maybe make a record one day? Lots of oh, youngsters so cool. in Hollywood are doing that. So cool, yeah. Hopefully I can like maybe use some of the acting, like whatever, to you know, kind of get get into some, some recording and yeah, do, and do a little music, yeah. Give this guy a record contract, people. Please, please. <laughs> so what are your future goals? Do you hope to move into films or...? Yeah, actually, um, I, I want to, you know, continue with the acting thing because that's really what I love doing, but... All aspects of you know film directing and you know I kind of want to be a DP. I kind of want to film something oh, like hands on, like you know behind. I'm taking cinematography as my elective this year, so very cool. Watch out for me there, you know. Filmmaker, start a YouTube channel. Definitely, I we'll think put it, it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, would you ever? Another question that I find myself asking with a lot of these young celebs that are going to college. Would you ever consider going to college? I don't know. I um. I don't know if I can handle another four years of school after this. Ugh. Just all the teachers and homework, and eh. But it's um, intense. Doug Savant, who plays my dad on the show, recently had a, like a half hour talk with me, forcing me to go to college, saying, You are going to go. So I, I'm kind of like, I don't know if I'm like obligated to go now. Maybe I don't it's because like, his character's in college on the <laughs> show, right? <laughs> Probably, now. yeah. He's like, You're not going to end up with a 40 year old, you know, dropout or anything like that. Yeah, oh, so. my gosh. Um, but yeah, I think I think it'll just depend on how it's going. Like if if I can continue with some like pretty regular work, then I'll probably just stay with it. But if I'm like, what to do now? Then I'll probably go to college. Now I know that we can keep up with you on Desperate Housewives. Tell the people at home why they should watch the show and tune in this season. Because it is without a doubt the most amazing show you've ever seen of all time in the history of ever. And just you know, it, it's just, it really is just incredible. So you got to watch it. And and for me and my style, check I, you this know, out. I, I, you know. I'm, I'm pretty awesome, so. In the it. history of ever, people. You heard it right here. <laughs> Definitely. Well, thank you, Josh, so much for stopping All by right. the studio. Thanks for so inviting me. So fun to have you yeah, here. Great. And make sure to catch him on ABC every Sunday night. You can see him do his thing on Desperate Housewives. Watch out, world. Parker is coming. Thank you guys at home so much for watching Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis. See you later.